Hello, welcome back to Brand Switch Live. In this episode, I want to show you the breakdown on how I created um, this kind of like a robot crowd. Um, so yeah, I don't know what they're doing. Maybe they're doing dancing or maybe protesting on something. But yeah, before I get there, uh, before I explain how I did it using geometry nodes. So the robot itself is basically just a cutout, okay? And it has the background remove. Um, using the latest iOS or Mac OS features to make a cutout. Uh, but first of all, let me explain how I created the robot. So yeah, this is, um, this is stable diffusions. They're also like mid journey and Dali or crayon, something you can use to basically you create a prompt or something. In this case, I'm prompting the AI to make, uh, to generate like robots based on random mechanical parts you can actually write down like car or something and just ask it to generate image i did it a couple of times so i end up with i end up with uh this 48 robots they are kind of low resolutions but still in this case it's okay most of them actually got cutouts a little bit trim around the framing I wish I can get like a full shot. Maybe I, I need to specify like a long shot camera, but they are pretty cool. Yeah. Okay. Uh, however, they have backgrounds and I want to use this inside Blender as a cutout. So on my iPad here with the latest iOS, uh, actually iPad OS 16, you can, you can bring it into the iPad and just, just select all. And on the corner there, right, bottom corner you tap more remove background okay so this features is uh, gonna remove the background for you automatically okay you can see within few seconds we have this robots with the background remove okay you're and all you need to do is just hoping that it's gonna do the job for you okay it's gonna do a pretty good job so anyway, so I send it back to uh, to my computer, right, and just bring it into Blender. File, import, images as planes, and simply grab the robots. Okay. With the you can by default is use the alpha. You can use it with principal or shaders. Anyway. You bring it in and you're gonna comes to you as a plane and you can now use it inside geometry nodes so this is the result so with the geometry nodes all I have here is uh, basically like a grid some kind of grid and I, I I make the grids kind of circular so it's a little bit more interesting than just a plane a uh, flat square okay so I use subdivision surface so the grid can be extended so with the grid itself I distribute some points this is the density okay so this is the robots and then I simply instance the yeah, we can bring this out we can instance collections of robots cutouts okay so relatives actually I can use origin separate the children and reset the children of the robot in this case I also transform it so it's on the floor so by default it should be centered but I just need to put it on the floor something like that and then instance on points with the pick instance turn on so it's picking like a random robot. And the next thing I did was to rotate. I also rotate the robot so it's standing instead of flat like that. And I give it a random scale of the robots. And then I use the, some handy nodes like scale instances, rotate instances, and translate instances in that order. So first of all, I further randomize the robot. 
just so they have different shapes slightly maybe I should also experiment with different color and what's next here is rotate instances of course it's doing uh, rotations on the local space of the instance so first of all I just make the robot kind of tilt it slightly okay a little bit like that all the seed here uh, just to randomize the robot further if you want to um, I also added this noise animations the noise has been normalized um, so yeah it's doing this kind of like uh, moving around like that you can we can reduce the, the noise a little bit so it's if the robot is a bit slow like that's maybe they're like a little bit drunk or you can make it you can increase the noise so it's kind of like dancing or actually protesting if they're moving ups and down to the music maybe it's gonna look like they're dancing what's the next one okay the robot is actually moving ups and down in this case I'm using noise maybe instead of noise I should have used maybe like a sine wave or something sine wave or ping pong multiply should be there maybe so they should more or less moves ups and down maybe uh, yes slightly um, randomized based on the scenes and time and this W value yeah like this so they're kind of kind of floating at the moment it's maybe slow dance okay so yeah scale instances rotate instances transfer instances and currently they are not facing the camera so they only looks correct from the front Maybe you want, you also want to use a uh, look at. Uh, there should be a uh, geometry nodes. There should be one node that's making each of the plane looking at the camera like a like 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 a look at constraint. But for now, I think I'm pretty okay with this. Uh, so this is the setup, basically uh, using the cutout features of. Um, iOS the latest iOS uh, you can you can use iPhone or iPad or maybe Mac OS Ventura as well just to get the cutouts so the cutouts is yeah, looking like this so the background is being removed it should work on objects and robots or humans uh, it's a pretty cool feature so yeah hopefully uh, yeah this works for you thanks again for tuning in and I'll see you next time thank you bye